Hey guys, it's the plant doctor here. What we're doing today is we are going to propagate pothos. So pothos is perhaps the most popular indoor plant that we see for indoor landscapes. You can grow this about anywhere. You can grow it in heavy, heavy, heavy shade south facing window uh, i've even seen people have it outside um, under a porch it can grow under just regular uh, fluorescent light bulbs uh, so led bulbs fluorescent bulbs it does good under uh, halogen bulbs a uh, halogen what i'm sitting under right now uh, does not produce the right type of light i'm not going to get into light science and infrared and and all that right now um, that's that's beyond the purpose of this video we want to talk about how we propagate this but this will grow anywhere some people call it the devil's vine because it's so hard to kill okay so this is really what i start my students off propagating with it's sneak state i've got this i've got coleus i got a few other things that are really easy to propagate and then we'll transition to ultimately i want them to know how to graft so we'll get into grafting trees some more technical stuff but let's talk about two ways that we can propagate pothos okay so uh, i'm going to show you two methods we're going to uh, one method we're going to use a cup and another method we're going to use a saucer with some water in the bottom of it uh, so the the first thing we'll do is i'll do the saucer one it's sitting right here in front of this saucer you can see it's full of water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick a cutting in this four inch pot. So what's in this four inch pot? In this four inch pot, and I'll try to shoot some B-roll film so you guys can see this better too. But in this four inch pot, we've got potting mix that is mainly peat there's some vermiculite in there but we're looking for something that's real heavy in peat if your potting mix is heavy in, in pine bark this is not really going to work well we want something that's going to absorb water and capillary action brings it up towards the surface of the pot so all i'm going to do is this i'm going to take my pot that's full of peat moss mainly peat moss i'm going to lay it right in the middle of my saucer that has water in it the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut, count back about three nodes. One, two, the third node's right there. I'm gonna cut right here. And then those bottom leaves, see one node, two nodes, three nodes. I'm just gonna cut those off. Cut that one off. So I'm left with that. That's going to be my cutting. And I'm going to wound this. What do I mean by wounding? I'm just going to take my pruners here and shave off one side. You can see that right there. Okay. And I'm not even going to use rooting hormone. I have a whole list, a playlist of plant propagation videos and i'll try to link them here or here the list and then i believe in every single one of those videos i'm either using a liquid rooting hormone or a powdered hormone you don't even need uh hormone for this so what i did i just took my index finger i made a hole down to about my, my middle knuckle of my index finger i'm just going to stick this down in there i'm going to cover that hole back up and in about six weeks or so that's going to have some decent roots on it so what do you want to do with this once you have it here uh keep it in a window or under some uh fluorescent lighting or led light here again it doesn't take a whole lot it takes a whole lot to kill these um you really have to work at killing these they have to be neglected for a long time as this saucer becomes dry i'll just put more water in the saucer and let that capillary action take that water up through the pot to get to the plant. And that's how we're going to water it until it roots. Uh, you'll be able to know that it's rooting if you take your, your index finger and your thumb and just lightly pull on it. And if you see the soil moving, 
you'll know those roots are starting to take down in your into your uh, potting mix there. All right, so that's the first way that we can propagate pothos. The second way is actually kind of interesting. Um, there's really no other plants that I propagate this way. I could probably do coleus this way, uh, but just a regular saucer. I'm going to use a clear saucer for visual purposes here. And what we're going to do is this. You, you don't have to use a clear saucer. You can use a, a, a red solo cup or whatever you got laying around. You could use an old Coke can or beer can. It doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to fill this up with water. All right, so now our little saucer filled up with water. And over here, I have some clean wrap. So you just need saran wrap or cling wrap, anything to, you could use a, a piece of cardboard with a hole cut out to do this. All we're looking for is something to hold our cutting up in the water. And I'm gonna use this cling wrap. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull that nice and tight over my cup. I've got a rubber band here. I'm gonna wrap that rubber band around it just to hold it in place. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my pruners here and I just cut a little bitty slit in the top of the clean wrap. And the same thing as before. I'm gonna find one of my longer stems. Here's a good one right here. I'll, cut, I'll count back three or four nodes. That's what I took off this time. And here again, these bottom ways, I'm just gonna cut them off. So that's what I'm left with right there. There's my cutting. And I'm gonna wound this one as well. So I'm just gonna take my printers on the side and cut it like that. You can see there. And we are going to stick this right in the pot. Now here's the important part. Make sure that your the bottom of your cutting is a couple inches down in the water. I'm going to try to hold this up to the camera and I'll probably shoot some B-roll of this as well to get a better shot. But you can see there that the bottom of that cutting is clearly in the water. The cool thing about doing it this way, you can actually see the roots begin to grow. So after two weeks, you'll start to see some, some swelling, some nodes develop. And after another two weeks, you'll start to see some roots come out. And after about six weeks, uh, you'll have a cutting that you can take out and pot up. And so that's the two ways. So we have the saucer method and we have the cup method. And those are the two really simple ways that you can propagate pothos or devil's vine. And if you're new to plant propagation, this is a great, great, great plant to start with. Guys, as always, thanks for watching The Plant Doctor. If you have questions or comments, please put them down in the, the questions uh, sec or the comment section, and, and I'll do my best to answer those. Thank you for the subscriptions and the, and the likes. Uh, we're almost up to 2,000 subs now, and that's because of you guys, and, and I really, really appreciate it. It's really fun to see this channel uh, start to take off a little bit. Until next time, happy gardening.